Hey guys, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you are down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science. So today, I'm going to talk about the uh, measurement basically for a data. So suppose you can think of the data. Okay, so data, we can use the data as a different different formats. Okay, so data can be something like nominal data it could be nominal data it could be ordinal data it could be ordinal data it could be uh, basically a ratio there could be ratio of the data okay and there could be interval of the data okay interval of data okay these are the different different uh, formats of the data you can get so suppose if i like to tell you about the uh, nominal data right this is a nominal data so nominal data how are you going to write it so suppose suppose uh, there is a uh, car company so in that particular car company they have a different different cars suppose they have a uh, red car okay they have a red car they have a green car they have a yellow yellow car they have some other kind black car okay okay so these are the basically uh, different different nominal so you are naming those things like red green yellow blue so these are the naming conventions and the data can be of these types and you can short this data based on the names also okay so b should be first if you short in ascending order b then g r then y in that way it is going to be shorted it is possible in nominal data but there is another kind of data type that is called the ordinal data type right so how the ordinal data type would look like this is the ordinal data type so in ordinal data type there should be some sort of order in the data itself so for an example if i tell you so if you have a different different months so there is a month uh, called jan okay then february then february march okay then april okay then may then june then july okay so in that way there is order like the february cannot be prior to jan so there is a particular order in the data set it is still nominal data plus it has ordinal values over here then uh, ordinal value can be something like in you know, one two three four also like suppose over here if you see one <clears throat> two three four five so this is a particular numbers and there is a particular order over there five and six and seven <clears throat> so in that case you can also think of there is some ordinal data over there okay so we are talking about the nominal data we are talking about the ordinal data types and now we are going to talk about the ratios I'm just uh, removing those over here. Okay, so there is a ratio is also there. So how you can write the ratio? So ratio could be something like okay, ratio is uh, the ratio suppose uh, some sort of fractional data set over there. Suppose uh, five by two. It is going to be around 2.5 this is the ratio value or you can think of uh, ratio of two different different parents suppose uh, in the data set there is there is a uh, suppose population total population if you see total population of the data set of different different countries suppose india there is called uh, india there is a China, there is a USA. Okay, so these are different different populations you give like one CR, 
Okay, so one point one sphere. Okay, suppose five hundred million. I'm just giving the example. It is not the exact values. Total population, then you can get the GDP. GDP, total GDP. Okay. So if you have the total GDP, that is suppose uh, some values of uh, around uh, six billion dollars. Okay. Suppose it is uh, twenty billion dollars. Okay. It, suppose it is around. Uh, uh, Eighteen billion dollars. So in this way, what you can get is the ratio value would be something like six by one point one. Okay, then twenty by one point one. So it it will be something like the GDP per capita. So. It that it means that per person what is the GDP value for a country? So that is the ratio kind of a uh, scenario, ratio data. Okay, this is the ratio data basically. This particular scenario ratio. This is the ratio data. Then there could be interval data also. Okay, to get the interval data, how you can do it? Uh, Okay, so for interval data, it would be something like uh, suppose this is the interval, right? Interval. Interval data. So in the interval data, how you can do this? Uh, in the interval data, you will see uh, some temperature value, right? There is a centigrade. Okay, this is centigrade temperature. There is a Fahrenheit temperature. There is a Kelvin scale. Is there? So these are basically the interval data. Like uh, the the values, if you see over there, like in centigrade, like it is thirty degree centigrade. Okay, it's it's a comparison of something. Okay, uh, so, uh, comparison of some value, interval value. Like the the temperature can be in between thirty to Forty degree centigrade. Okay, for Fahrenheit it could be around like I suppose uh, fifty degrees Fahrenheit to thirty degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, uh, forty degree Fahrenheit. So in this way there could be some interval data. So basically the data which is which belong to between two different data points. Okay. So this is the interval data. So, so, so similarly for Kelvin scale also, there could be like uh, for Kelvin scale it is something different. For Kelvin scale it has a perfect zero, zero degree Kelvin, and compared to that you are getting some value. Suppose it is twenty degree Kelvin. Okay, so it's we just take Kelvin as a base value, Kelvin scale as a base value, and compared to this we try to see what is the different different values like. Uh, in centigrade in Fahrenheit, suppose zero degree in centigrade doesn't mean that it is a zero degree in Kelvin. Some different value. So Kelvin over here is a base value, and the centigrade in Fahrenheit is a different value. It just take the uh, uh, some interval of Kelvin scale you can think of. So this is a different different data types. So I hope you like the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of videos I make for data science. Thank you. Thank you for watching.